and um, this is going back to childhood so one of the um, symptoms of um, when she first started getting ill when we were about nine or ten was um, that she fell over all the time so um, this is called my twin the fearless up in the cherry tree high in its taut red arms I'm rubbing my fingers over gashed bark soothing its wounds with my hands my twin and I are like peg dolls in a toy garden. We're wearing our blue dress and our red dress. I'm picking blossom, stripping the tree like a locust, my twin on the ground like a faraway bird. I want her to climb up, but she throws me a snake's glare. She will not speak. The truth is she has fallen. She is always falling. Neither earth nor tree can balance her. Maybe she's too sharp, pretty, too cunning. Maybe it's her lopsided pigtails, her uneven hem. Our dog, in a green sun hat, pushes its nose into her ribs, wagging its amputated tail. It licks the little skulls of her knees, will not let the doll doctors touch her. They are masked and naked, waving their plastic stethoscopes. They draw words from their mouths like a never-ending tongue. The word that stays with me is crippled. It penetrates my skin. Huddled in our bunk beds later, the rumble of my father's voice climbs up the stairs. He's a matador, glittering and helpless, silently chewing the stained stalk of his pipe. I won't leave you, not ever, I whisper to my twin. But she's rigid, not listening, facing the wall. Eight years later, I'm on the hard shoulder, the sun rising. My heart's a butchered slab in a plastic bag. With my head shaven, I don't care what happens to me. I hold up my thumb and my hand-painted sign, mouth at the wave of traffic. Please, please.